emisión.net Hello again and welcome to Letter from England, broadcasting for AC Press and the Spanish Evangelical Alliance. Well, it sounds like every school child's dream, the nothing class. It used to be called, without much inspiration it must be said, alternative to RE, religious education. Uh, the class uh, offered uh, for those who didn't want to go to confessional RE classes in schools, which usually uh, meant Catholic classes only, though of course nowadays there are uh, in some places uh, the option to study evangelical RE um, or Jewish RE or Muslim RE. Since 2006 though the subjects had an even worse title that defies anything approaching reasonable translation. It works out at something like compulsory educational study, which is a bit of a misnomer because actually that although the subject has a name it often doesn't have any content something which is a source of grave concern to many parents and teachers. Children can quite literally end up doing anything from playing Ludo or battleships to doing extra science or regional song and dance classes. Other alternatives in this alternative subject include doing your homework in silence or simply removing the whole thing from the school timetable. Anything goes, it seems, in a class regulated legally in the following terms. A proper education without reinforcing a child's knowledge. In other words, they've got to be there, but they mustn't learn anything. So they have to have a classroom, have to have a teacher, but the teacher's not allowed to teach them. The writer, Eduardo Soto, arrived at school recently at the start of term to enrol his son in year two of primary school, opting for the alternative to religious education classes, which uh, that school covered two hours per week of lesson time. He asked, what will my son do for those two hours? Nothing, came the reply. The father wanted to know more, but the teacher cut him off, saying, we're not allowed to talk to them about anything religious, nor revise other subjects, nor do anything which smacks of academic reinforcement, because the law forbids it. That's why we do nothing. The staff decided on this so as not to have problems. In other words, children must spend the two hours in a classroom with a teacher but the teacher is forbidden by law to teach them anything. The reason given for this bizarre state of affairs is that the children who opt out of RE would have an unfair advantage over those who stayed in if they were taught something extra in the two hours they spend not doing RE. Well, I've heard some far-fetched excuses in my time, but that takes some beating. The Education Ministry, bless them, think the two hours of nothing is a good way of guaranteeing the parental right which allows them to prevent their children from being indoctrinated in any religious belief. Many teachers, though, question the way this alternative subject has been devised. Something that discriminates against children who don't take RE, while others wonder if it isn't another case of the government trying to placate the Catholic Church. Meanwhile, in the classroom, no one seems very happy with the situation. Catholic bishops are taking regional and educational authorities to court over their attempts to get pupils out of having to sit through two hours of nothing. Most parents have no idea what their children get up to during these alternative sessions, and teachers are left trying to square the circle without falling foul of the law and entertain these children for two hours without doing very much. Mind you, it could be worse. You wait until some bureaucrat decides that Ludo has some educational value, then that will be banned too. Thank you for listening to Letter from England, broadcasting each week at emission.net. Goodbye. Emission.net